Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're going to review another product that we picked up when we were at KetoCon in Austin, Texas. These are some items from the Carolina Keto Bakery, and we will check them out right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos. We do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then once a week, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our life for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So while we were out at KetoCon in Austin, Texas this year, we got to sample a lot of different products. But there was one that really struck Rachel's fancy. It was this snack mix. It's a smoked bacon ranch snack mix from the Carolina Keto Bakery. And those things were really good, but so were these cookies. Amazing. Amazing. So I had a chance to talk with Anna from the company, the baker herself. Yep. So why don't you guys check this out? Well, hey guys, I'm with Anna from Carolina Keto Bakery. And as you can see from what's going on here, she is selling out. This is one of our very favorite things that we tried for the first time. Look at this. This is Sunday. I don't even remember what it was. This what shows was it? up. It was, you'll never know what it is, honey, because you're never going to taste it. Mama's keeping this all for herself. It's her smoked bacon ranch snack oh, mix. Oh, yes. Now he remembers. It is I remember. Wasn't that like pork rinds that were like only a couple weeks old? Oh, my yeah. gosh. It was delicious. A couple days. Like a couple, couple days, days old. Yes. It was a mix that was like, forget Chex Mix. This stuff was like way better. so incredible. Yeah. It's actually already on a flight home. Thank you, U.S. Personal Service, because I wasn't going to take any chances that I wasn't going to get this. As soon as I tasted this, I was like, this is not going to last until Saturday. Did it even last till Friday night? It, this? Yeah. Yesterday, like lunchtime or so. I'm actually so. shocked because it's that good. <laughs> and then we also purchased her salted caramel chocolate chip. That's and I'm good. glad that I did yep. because that's all gone. And we did um, also get this, this um, the Dutch apple. Incredible. It's so good. So tell us a little bit about how you got started. Yeah. Yeah. So I started following the ketogenic diet and missed really amazing baked goods. Yes. So, like that tasted homemade and were thick and chewy and with the keto baking, you know how you can get uh, a cooling aftertaste. Um, Your whole mouth. The, yeah, and the texture's not the greatest. So that was my two goals starting off was no cooling effect and thick and chewy. So. And she's totally achieved this. If you are yes. missing like really good apple cookies, like this Dutch apple cookie, yep. oh my goodness, I can't even. And and this I've never, the, the pork rind like mix, I want to call it Chex Mix because that's the only reference yeah. point like I would have. Like you go to a party and you get that Chex Mix and everybody's just like gravitating over <laughs> that bowl and don't want to leave. That's what it tastes like only with fresh pork rinds. So it's like yeah, crazy high protein, good. High fat. It, stuff. It's just so, so good. Yeah. So um, you can buy their food online. What is your website? It is www.carolinaketobakery.com. So you can order online because they're still, get them while they're small. I'm telling you, like it's, they're going to sell out as soon as they, I mean, any bigger. We may not get them anymore and that'll be like, that'll, that'll upset me. <laughs> but if you reach out to them for an order with KetoCon19, with your order, you'll get 15% off. So enjoy a show price without having to come to the show. Exactly. You can find me on Instagram and Facebook as well. All right. And what's your handle? It's Carolina Keto Bakery. Awesome. Easy. <laughs> All right. Thank you so thank much you. for making yes. such a great product. Okay. So I am totally in love with her shirt. Yeah. I love that shirt. It says fueled by ketones and Jesus. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I need to get that one. She was just super nice. And again, another one of these companies that was started by somebody who was living a keto lifestyle mm -hmm. and they just needed something to fulfill their own like baking needs, their own dessert needs, and they couldn't find anything on the market. So they decided to make it for themselves. Yep. And there's something different in the quality and the taste and the texture when someone is just making for themselves. They want to enjoy something, so they work hard at perfecting it. Right. 
So I guess we're gonna try both of these different products, right? We yes, have been please. dying to try these and eat these things. We're trying. We did try them a little bit at the show. Yeah. But we've been dying to eat these things, but we were doing the keto chow challenge and everything else. So we haven't been able to eat them. So they have been sitting in the refrigerator. Let's Staring start with these. Us. Let's start with, I oh, wanna I start I with the savory and then go to the sweet. We're still probably gonna need the scissors for this. Well, let's start with this. So this is, a smoked bacon ranch snack mix. There is something magical about fresh pork rinds. Right. Now, these aren't even as fresh as they were intended because we've had them for a couple weeks. Yep. But generally, when you order them, they're like literally like fresh off the farm, just a couple of days old, like yes. she said. Amazing. So the ingredients in this is pork skins, salt, Parmesan cheese, salted grass-fed butter, which is made out of pasteurized cream, salt. Then you have MCT oil, almonds, pecans, Brazil nuts, peely nuts, which I've never seen a product that has peely nuts Me in it neither. before. Macadamias, buttermilk powder, which is made out of buttermilk solids and uh, whey solids. And you have spices, natural sea salt, smoked over alder wood, and then natural bacon flavor, and then gu uh, gum arabia. My mouth is like watering as you're like reading the ingredients. Okay, so now the nutrition information on this, the serving size is a half an ounce. There are nine servings in this container. Not for Rachel. Now I'm going to say this is, it looks like a small package, which it is, but it is stuffed to the gills. It is. And it is heavy. It is. Okay, it is not like, you know, your normal thing where they're all air. I'm still going to go nuts on it. Okay, so in one serving there is 100 calories. There is nine grams of fat. There is four grams of protein, which it's very rare to find pork rinds where you have so much more fat than protein. Mm -hmm. And it has one total carbohydrate in a serving. That's amazing. And I think one of the things that's adding to the fat is like Peely all these nuts. delicious nuts, peely nuts and macadamia almonds, Brazil nuts. nuts, macadamia nuts, all high fat nuts. So on the back, she has a little bit of copy. I wanted to read this. It says, hello, Carolina Keto Bakery was created out of a passion for a ketogenic lifestyle and a hankering for delicious keto snacks. We are based in beautiful Raleigh, North Carolina, and we make some of the best sweet and salty keto goods on this side of the Mississippi. I love it. You ready? And she was a delight, and so was her husband. Yes, and what I really like about this, there's something, another rare thing when it comes to pork rinds, it's got a Ziploc top. Well, she doesn't even need one because it's never closing. Okay, in this so house. there's a couple of pork rinds for you. Mm. And then oh the nuts goodness. are like, unfortunately, like all the way at the bottom. We'll just have to eat our way till we get them. So. I'm just gonna grab a couple of pork rinds. That's the best part of the whole thing. There's only yeah. a few nuts. There's not a lot of nuts in it's here. It's so flavorful. Yep. You ready? Mm-hmm. Just as buttery and tasty as I remember. And again, we've had them for a couple of weeks. They've just been in the refrigerator. So crunchy. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I like the fact that you can like almost suck the oil off of them. Off what? It's gone. It's so good. Those are really, really good. Crazy good. It's amazing that you can literally taste the difference between this and a store-bought one because of how fresh they are. It's just butter. It's so good. Okay. So you want to try some of these cookies? This okay. one. We have two kinds, right? Mm-hmm. Salted caramel. We have salted caramel and we have Dutch apple. Now this, if you really miss apple pie, you will love these. We did try these at KetoCon, but it's been a while, so mm -hmm. I feel like we need to kind of try them again. Look at how cute they are wrapped. So let's let's read off, we'll read off, I guess, both of them, right? Okay. So I'll open this and you read so that So in the salted caramel chocolate chip cookies, there's blanched almonds, salted grass-fed butter, stevia extract, erythritol, unsweetened chocolate, cocoa butter, inulin, dextrin, organic milk powder, milk fat, natural flavors, stevia extract, organic soy lecithin, vanilla sea salt, egg, sunflower lecithin, sea salt flakes, egg yolk, and baking soda. Okay, and then this is the Dutch apple flavor, and the Dutch apple has blanched almonds, salt grass, uh, salted grass-fed butter, which uh, stevia extract, erythritol, unsweetened chocolate, cocoa butter, inulin, dextrin, not dextrose, dextrin. Yes, that's a okay. big clarification. That's a big clarification. Organic milk powder, and then uh, milk fat, natural flavors, stevia extract, organic soy lecithin, vanilla, sea salt, egg, sunflower lecithin, sea salt, what is, the, sea salt flakes, I'm sorry, 
egg yolk and baking soda. Never seen sea salt flakes before. How cool is that? Well, and I should say that each cookie is 190 calories, 18 grams of fat, four grams of protein. There's 14 carbohydrates total, three from fiber and uh, let's see, nine from the sugar alcohol. So they're saying this is a net carb of two for this Okay, one. and so this one is uh, one cookie, 170 calories, 15 grams of fat, four grams of protein, two grams of dietary fiber, 16 total carbohydrates, 12 and a half grams of the ketogenic sweetener, so it's one and a half net carbs per cookie. Yeah. And there's seven cookies in this bag, and I think seven cookies in that one. Which one are we gonna try first? I feel like we did this one first. Before. Yeah. So let's do this one again. C is for cookie. It's good enough for me. I love Cookie Monster. He's my kind of guy. Look how big and tall they are. They remind me of my grandma's cookies. Because, yeah, a lot of the time, some of the keto cookies that are, like, kind of mass-produced are very flat. They are flat like Florida is flat. I snuck a piece in my mouth. Uh-oh. Are you ready? Mmm. That is so good. Wow. Wow. Where's the apple one? I feel like I'm eating apple. This don't is... Don't you like, taste apples? This, I don't even remember reading apple. This is homemade in a way that like you don't get from like breaking off the bricks of like Chips Ahoy and making them. You know no. what I mean? That's homemade, technically. That's Rachel homemade. This is like a baker making cookies. Those are so good. Oh my goodness. Honestly, I shouldn't even say this, but. I gotta do it the dunk test. Does it do the dunk test? These are absolutely the best <gasps> keto cookies I've ever eaten. It didn't fall apart. Yeah, no, these are absolutely the best keto cookies I've ever eaten. Does not taste like a keto cookie. Don't even taste the almond flour. They you have a good texture. It. And again, just. This just reminds me, so growing up, I'm German, and so we called my, my, my dad's parents, who were 100% German, Oma and Opa, Yeah. and my Oma used to mail us her chocolate chip cookies to New York. And they were she, tall they like York, this, right? And they were tall like this. They weren't these big, wide, flat things. They were like this, and that's what it's reminding me of. Mm. I gotta take a, we gotta do the salted caramel, because we didn't try the salted caramel there. We did not. We I just trusted slip. that anything that was on her table, I was just taking... Because I knew it was going to be gone. Yeah. And I was right. Yeah, we got them early and then went back. So, oh, by the way, this is something else we found at KetoCon. Mm -hmm. I think we had it once before. And we're going to do a review on this. But this, if you like like grab-and-go iced coffees out of the store, and you can get them in a lot of places. I mean, I'm getting them at Whole Foods. Yeah. But these super, coffee, these super coffees are awesome. And this whole bottle is only 80 calories. And here's the best part. Look at how many total carbohydrates in the whole bottle are. One? One total carb in the whole bottle. Wow. But it is super good, nice and sweet. They're using Stevie, I think, and um, just really good. We're going to do a full review on these. I'm trying to get them to send me some coupons. I'm just so excited that it passes the dunk test. Mm -hmm. You can actually dunk this cookie. I love okay. it. Boy, this is just a nice dessert night. I know, right? Okay, so this is... Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Look at the chunks of chocolate on that thing. Look at thing. that. That is the salted caramel, right? Is that what it is? It is. Salted caramel chocolate, chocolate chip. chip. I was going to say, you know you better be giving me one of them chips. Well, you got the bigger piece before. That's all right. Well, I'm going to make sure I get a bigger piece then. Okay, there you go. Oh, no, I want that one. No, you get this one. No, I want that you one. You get this one. You can have a little bit more off this one <laughs> no. and that one. You've got chocolate chips in yours. Man, look at how many chocolate chips I you have. I have two. You have, look at how many you have on the inside. One. One. <laughs> You see this, people. This is these are cookies. Look to fight on the over. inside of yours, and you have so many on the inside, and I have none on the inside. These look, are cookies. Look down here. Worth fighting over. They are worth fighting for. We are fighting. We never fight over our cookies. No. Especially keto cookies. You're usually like, you can have them. Oh my goodness. Yep. Yep. Wow. Wow. These are so good. Oh my goodness. These are so good. Super fresh baked. We bought these. They did not give these to these. No, but we thought something this delicious we needed to pass on. Right? This is I good. seem to remember when we bought them, we tried the, you wanted those uh, 
pork rinds. Mm -hmm. And we bought them, and then I tried those apple ones. I'm like, I'm buying these, and we went home, and you're like, you did not need those. Why did you buy those? So I get I get all of these. You're right. And you can have the pork rinds, because you didn't even want me to buy these to begin with. Mm -hmm. You see what this does to us? <laughs> Maybe you don't want to bring them into your house. These are so good. They're so good, you're going to fight over them. They are so good. Delicious. I'm going to be very sad when we don't have any left. Well, we'll just have to, order, have to some order, order some more. Okay. You want to put this through our five things? Five things. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. And I know this is a little different because we got them a couple weeks ago and we've yep. already tried them, but we're going to do it anyway. So we, we review all products on the five things. We talk about the ingredients, mm -hmm. does it keto based on a nutrition label, how does it taste, how much does it cost, and finally, would we recommend it? Here so we go. number one, the ingredients. All three of them, bring the other bag in here. Wah, 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 wah. The ingredients on all of this is incredible. Very I good. I mean, grass-fed butter, I mean, stevia, I mean, everything in these is really good. It's not surprising. It's somebody that's making them for themselves. So and guess that's what? the difference. They don't want to put junk in their body either. Right. That's the difference. When you go with something like this, when you go with something like some of the other companies that have come from people who are within the keto lifestyle, yep. the difference in the quality of the ingredients shows like over buying something like from slim fast or buying something from atkins or something like that yeah it's okay. night and day yep so ingredients are good number two does it keto based on a nutrition label let's start with the cookies mm -hmm. okay 190 calories or 170 calories 18 grams of fat right four grams of protein you cannot beat that that that's like good keto macros You've got 14 total carbohydrates. Again, it's a cookie. It's a treat. Yeah. Okay. And then three grams of dietary fiber, nine grams of sweetener in here, making it two net carbs. Now compare this to some of the other companies that are out there, the like good companies, like a yeah. new wee cookie or something like that. This yeah. is one of the lowest carbohydrates on the keto cookies. And I personally think the best tasting. Yeah. And as far as this goes, you're looking at total carbohydrates per serving, one gram. Dietary fiber, two grams. Right. Literally negative, negative tar total carb, I mean, negative net carbs, right? I'm like, can't even talk. I'm in such shock. And here's the thing about this. Okay, so yes, so this has nine servings in it. But just in case you are going to be Rachel. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you eat this entire bag, you're eating 900 calories. Right. So it's your food for the day. It is. You would be eating 900 calories. You would be eating... 81 total grams of fat. You'd be eating, uh, what, 36 grams of protein. So you're like, you're following a good keto macros here, right? And you'd be eating a total of nine total carbohydrates and then taking out your dietary fiber. So you're basically looking at zero net carbs. So yeah. If you eat the entire bag. Would that stink as a day? No. Like, I you'll mean, be upset when it's gone. Yeah, you'll be crying, <laughs> but what a day. But what a day. And again, you're not dealing with, well, this is one of the first, like, flavored pork rinds that I found, no maltodextrin, no dextrose, no garbage in it. Yeah. Okay. So ingredients are good. Keto is good. Number three, how does it taste? Incredible. Incredible. Like yeah. I am not, I'm not kidding. I'm not exaggerating. We are not affiliated with them. We just really like them. They were nice people and like, no kidding. Absolute best keto cookie that I have had, including my own. That is a ballsy statement, yeah, sir. I'm serious, including my own. I would challenge somebody to give me a better tasting keto cookie than this. Please, please accept that challenge, people. And send them to Rachel. Send send them straight here. We we love those kind of challenges. Like, try this cookie. And yes. same thing with pork rinds. Here's the funny part about the pork rinds. Rachel doesn't normally like pork rinds. No, I like cracklins. You like the you don't even like cracklins. You like the ones that have like all of the fat. The cracklins are just usually crunchier you like the ones that have like chicharrones yes. you want the all the big layer of fat on the back the one where like she can eat one compared to my five pork rinds exactly you know as far as nutrition goes so to find a pork rind that not only do i love love the pork rind itself but then on top of it to get a flavor right is really amazing right so number four how much does it cost because this can be the deciding factor yeah so i did go on our website i know how much we paid when we were there but mm -hmm. i wanted to pull up their website so they have a lot more than just this so on their website they also have just so you know they have a keto bread they have the apple cookies they have double chocolate chip cookies that are dairy free we did try those at keto con and they were i really don't good. remember them being dairy free though they have the salted caramel cookies 
Then they also have um, brownies, but they're not available for shipping. They have a cinnamon coffee cake. They have a peanut butter cup spread, a cinnamon pecan spread. Oh, man. And then they have that bacon ranch. Okay, so the cookies are $18 for the Dutch apple. Mm-hmm. And sixteen dollars for the salted caramel. And or there's the other way around. This is the Dutch apple. That's the salted caramel. And there's like seven in a bag. There's seven. So what does that come out to be? About two dollars and fifty cents a cookie, something like that. But these are nice sized cookies. Yeah. So really, really filling cookies. We pretty much just ate a whole cookie a piece because I'm, we had a half of each one. And I'm feeling happy. They're they're pretty satisfying just eating one cookie. Yeah. The pork rinds they're a bit expensive at twelve dollars a bag. Right. Okay. You can also look at portion size, though. So we usually buy the the Epic brand. Mm -hmm. You're going to pay about $4 for an Epic brand, and there is five servings in that bag, and this is nine servings. Remember, there's also macadamia nuts and peely nuts in this bag also. Right. So. So it is a little bit on the pricier side, but I don't think it's much more, at least for the cookies... Then even buying things like Nui cookies or fat snacks, they're all up between 2 and $3 a package for the cookies. But there is a huge difference in the quality and the flavor. I feel like if, it was, if I was throwing a party and I'm inviting friends that have been like naysayers on my keto diet, I'd put a bowl of this stuff out and be like, yeah, this is what we eat on the keto diet. And I think that that would like settle the argument right there. Right. Because it is that delicious. Now, I did check when we went on the website just to make sure because it is a couple weeks since we were at KetoCon. Yeah. And the coupon code that she mentioned in that video is still valid. Yeah. So you can go ahead and use that coupon code. And again, it is not an affiliate code or anything like that. It's no. just something that she created like for KetoCon. And you can get, what was it, 10 or 15% off. Right. So, so that's something else. Okay, so that's number four. So again, a little bit high, but I don't think it's any higher than any of the other keto products we've it's tried. It's a luxury item. Yep. So finally, number five, would we recommend this? I definitely would recommend this. This Absolutely. stuff was very tasty. Um, I definitely wanted to draw attention to kind of a mom and pop company yep. that's on their on their way, Make you know, working hard. And bring in a new product to market, but but doing it with integrity. Yep. And and putting out just a really good product you can feel good about. Yeah. So if you're looking for like, hey, I want to try a keto cookie, and again, nothing wrong with some of the other options out there, like no. the fat snacks or the Nui, and I hate to keep mentioning them in this one, but you have to have a comparison. Right. If you are looking to like, I want to buy a keto cookie. This one is hands down very incredible. different, very different in the way it's texture and everything. Yeah, it, it is really like a homemade cookie, a homemade chunky cookie. Yeah, I would absolutely recommend it. Yeah. So that is our video for today. Let us know down in the comment section if you were to order from them, which flavor would you get the most? Yeah, absolutely. Which one interests you the most? I personally, that salted caramel is incredible. But I also like the, the apple. The Dutch apple, it does. It tastes like a Dutch apple like home so and these are incredible as well but let us know down in the comment section which one would you want to try the most <laughs> that's fine you can have that and i'm getting this okay so if you like what you saw today do us a favor hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to it until next time bye bye